What's up guys? Today we're going to take a look at the 5 best bridge cameras on the market for this year. We're going to show you our 5 best picks, and we'll talk about whether or not you should buy them. If you want more information and the most up-to-date pricing on the products mentioned, be sure to check the links in the description below. Okay, so let's get started. Number 1. Sony RX-10 4. The Sony Cybershot RX-10 4, though commanding a higher price, justifies its premium status with a plethora of features that make it stand out in the camera market. The 315-point phase detect autofocus system is a significant upgrade from its predecessor, the RX-10 3, enhancing its ability to track moving subjects. Notably, it introduces a touch screen, a first for the RX-10 series, further enhancing its user interface. Equipped with Bluetooth and Wi-Fi connectivity, the RX-10 4 facilitates on-the-go image sharing to smartphones. While the 24-600mm lens may not boast the widest focal range, the camera compensates with a remarkable 1-inch Sony sensor, delivering top-tire image quality that sets it apart from the competition. The camera's capabilities extend to 24 FPS continuous burst shooting and 4K video recording, showcasing its versatility and power as an all-encompassing performer. Number 2. Nikon P1000 the Nikon P1000 introduces a compelling bridge camera experience, leaving a lasting impression with its remarkable zoom capabilities. The all-in-one zoom range is a standout feature, offering an astonishing 3,000mm focal length at its maximum zoom. This versatility, from 24mm to 3,000mm, provides an unparalleled shooting experience, eliminating the need to switch lenses and allowing for rapid adjustments in various shooting scenarios. However, it's important to note that the camera does come with some trade-offs. At the telephoto end, there's a notable loss of three full stops, reducing the aperture from a solid f/2.8 to a less impressive f/8. This adjustment may impact low-light performance and depth of field at longer focal lengths. Additionally, despite impressive image stabilization, there is noticeable softness in images, especially at longer focal lengths. Number 3 Kodak Pix Pro AZ528. Kodak persists in catering to a niche audience with the Pix Pro AZ528, an all in one super zoom camera, in a market where other brands have shifted their focus. The standout feature of this camera is its substantial 52x zoom, offering not only appeal to aspiring wildlife photographers, but also versatility for casual sports photography enthusiasts. The AZ-528's impressive zoom range enhances its adaptability, making it a handy tool for capturing distant subjects. However, it grapples with the limitations inherent in such super zoom cameras. The relatively small sensor size contributes to softer results, particularly when shooting handheld at the maximum zoom setting. This softness is a common challenge faced by cameras in this category, impacting image quality as users approach the extreme ends of the zoom range. Number 4. Canon PowerShot SX70HS The Canon SX70HS, at first glance, appears to be a strong contender, especially when compared to the Panasonic FZ82, with a slightly longer maximum zoom and nearly matching wide-angle capabilities. However, a closer look reveals certain limitations that may impact its overall performance. The SX70HS boasts a f 3 to 6 maximum aperture range, which, on the lower side, may pose challenges in low-light situations. Furthermore, its 20MP resolution struggles to overcome the inherent limitations of the small half, 3-inch sensor size. While the camera handles well and maintains a compact design for a bridge camera, the competition has evolved, offering larger zoom ranges, bigger sensors, and more competitive price points. Number 5. Panasonic Lumix FC82 the Panasonic FZ82 may not match the zoom range of the Nikon P950, but with its 20-1200mm range, it still stands as an impressive contender. The camera features a variable aperture of f/2 to 5 and is equipped with a half, 3-inch sensor, which, while not optimal for low-light conditions, allows for an extended zoom range. One of the FZ82's strong points is its attractive price point, offering users a compelling balance of features and affordability. Thanks for watching and that's for all this video. If you liked this video and it helped in any way, 
Please give this video a like, and if you don't want to miss out on any future videos, subscribe to the channel. I hope to see you in the next video. Till next time, see you guys.